Hey y'all, can y'all see me? Can y'all see your girl? Let me see if I can see some comments. Then I know y'all can see me. I think I'm gonna start over. I know I went live earlier, but I think I'm gonna start over from scratch. Am I going live on YouTube? Okay, there y'all go. What's up, Kampu Kisses? What's up, What's up, it's Low? Is y'all ready for part two? I think I'm gonna start over. That's what I was just telling myself. I was talking to myself. I think I'm gonna start over from this morning because a lot of y'all wasn't on my live this morning. So I think I'm gonna start over. I'm gonna start over. What's up, Roland Designs? What's up, -er? I'm gonna give y'all some time to get in here. Let me turn these lights on. Get it together. Y'all, let me tell you how much I love y'all. I didn't even get my hair finished. You feel me? I, 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 that's what I was just saying, kids. I didn't even get my hair finished. Let me tell y'all. So when I went to get my hair done this morning, it was to get it dyed. I got my whole head dyed, right? But then I supposed to get it twisted and then styled. I didn't get the twist and style because the dyeing process, because my hair so long, the dyeing process took about six, seven hours. So my whole head is this color and I love it. It's giving fall. I like it. Love it. But I can't show y'all the top part because it's not it's not giving yet. So tomorrow, well not tomorrow, when I go live again, y'all will see it. Y'all will see it. What's up, big country? What's up? But I'm finna um let me go get baby JJ. Baby JJ wanna see y'all and then I'm finna go live. We're finna go ahead and talk. Get to talking. Baby JJ! Baby JJ! <laughs> There we go, that's some light. Nookie, wookie, yookie, nookie. Come on, talk to the people. Let's go. Let's go see the people. Come on. Let's see, let's go see your other family. Ooh, say it's bright in here. <laughs> as soon as he came here, he gonna put his head down. Say hey to my people. Say hey, YouTube. Ah, ah, look on my hair. Look on my hair. Ow, look on my hair. <laughs> JJ, look on my hair. JJ, look on my hair. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Why you being me? <laughs> Say hey to my people so I can go take you back to your daddy. Say hey y'all. Say hey you two. You ain't gonna say hey. Say it's too bright in here. It's too bright. Okay, let's go. It's too bright in here. Say bye y'all. Oh, you wanna say something? Say bye. <laughs> Why you pulling my hair, baby? You were pulling my hair. Going crazy. I just got it done. You can't pull my hair. Give him about an hour. All right, all right. Okay. Y'all ready? Say you ready. <laughs> He's so aggressive. But yeah, y'all, I didn't even finish getting my hair did. I told that hairdresser, I said, look, I'm supposed to be on live at 7 o'clock with my people. They're going to be mad at me. And here I am, 8.30. They ain't even like me. I be on time before time. But... I didn't know that it take that long to dye hair. So it's dyed tomorrow. I'm going to get it twisted, pinned up. It's going to be real cute. It's going to be real cute. So when I get back on live again, whenever that is, next Wednesday, y'all going to see my hair. Okay. If y'all ready, say you're ready. Okay, y'all ready. All right. So where did we leave off this morning? If y'all was on my live this morning, we was talking about a lot. Like the gems was being dropped. It was giving what it's supposed to give. It was giving what it's supposed to give. But where do we leave off? Thank you, Terry. What we left off here? Do y'all remember? Do y'all got y'all notes? I don't think y'all got y'all notes. 
Who said that? Kiara Bradley. Good job, Kiara. What about everybody else? Okay, promotion. Good job. Okay, so I'm going to still go over everything um, just because I got time. So if, even if y'all didn't take notes this morning, y'all can take notes now, okay? So we're going to go over everything. And then at the end, we're going to do a nice trivia. And then I'm going to be out y'all hair to next Wednesday. All right. So we was talking about this. Okay, if y'all ready, say you're ready. I know I don't said it already, but I just want to make sure. <laughs> I just want to make sure. So I'm just go ahead and introduce myself. My name is Cassandra Smith. I go by Coach Cassandra. Uh, I am the owner of Blank School Lore, you guys. Basically, where we show y'all how to master multiple crafts to, to start that business. Um, we teach online classes, hands-on classes in Atlanta, Georgia. And then we also sell you guys the products that you need to craft. We sell submission paper. We sell submission ink, submission blanks. We sell party favorite paper, all of that good stuff. And we also sell DTF transfers. So that's what I want to talk about today. I have another live where we talk about submission and all the other stuff. But today, today I want to talk about DTL transfers. Now, what does DTL stand for? If you was on my live earlier, what does DTL stand for? DTL. Let's see if y'all. Good job, Kiara. Good job, TT. It stands for direct to film. So it's basically us printing the image directly to the film. Now, we print the images for you. But I'm also going to talk about later how y'all can print your own images because y'all might not want to shop with us and you might want to do your own thing. So we're going to talk about we're going to talk about that later, uh, a little later, okay? So first thing first. Let's talk about what is needed when pressing DTL transfers. We're going to talk about pressing them. So everything that is needed to press DTL transfers, number 1. I'm just going to go over what I talked about this morning. You are going to need DTL transfers. So y'all put that in the comments. And, and y'all repeat after me. After that, we good to go. So y'all going to need DTL transfers, number one. Um, and y'all get those from transfersgalore.com. Somebody asked me earlier, like, well, where we get them from? You get them from us. The website is called transfersgalore.com. So you're going to need that. And we did give y'all a code um, today. We're going to extend it to the MAR. Only because I had to get out live this morning. So if y'all ain't bought y'all transfers yet, y'all got to the MAR, okay? The second thing you need. And I just want to show y'all this. Like DTL transfers, this is how they come out. They come in a roll like this. And all we do is cut them up. And then we ship them to you guys. So this is the Black History transfers and then we also got in time so i'm telling y'all dtf is the way to go so number one you need transfers number two you need shirts but we're gonna just say apparel good job y'all paying attention today so when i say apparel it can be sweaters it can be shirts or it can be hoodies. Now, I'm going to tell y'all where to get everything from. If you was on my live this morning, you already know, okay? So, the first place to get this from is shirts.com. Drop it in the comments for your girl. Giffy Shirts, you spell it J-I-F-F-Y-S-H-I-R-T-S. So, shirts.com. Slow down. Look at her fast. She's dropping all her notes. Like, I already know. I already know. The second place you're going to get your shirts from is alldayshirts.com. You spell that A-L-L-D-A-Y shirts.com, okay? Put that in the comments. We're going to take our time because I got a little time tonight. I got a little time tonight. The third place you're going to get your um apparel from shirt mats s-h-i-r-t m-a-x dot com good job daniels shirt mats shirt mats dot com that's the thick that's the third place you're gonna get your shirts from the fourth place 
It's called Shirt Space. S H I R T S P A C E dot com. Shirtspace.com. So those are four websites that y'all can go and get your apparel, sweaters, hoodies, and shirts. But then I also talked about earlier two places that you can walk into. If you stay in Atlanta, somebody else said they got it in Dallas, Texas. I don't know. But in Atlanta, you can walk into Aviva Wholesale. It is called A, you spell it A-V-I-V-A, -A, Aviva Wholesale. And it's right up here on Beaufort Highway. So if you're in Atlanta, where is y'all from? I didn't even ask y'all. But if you are in Atlanta, Aviva is going to be your go-to, okay? And then the next place that I just found out about, but when I went up in that thing, it was like, y'all, I had to go back to the car and get my credit card because it was crazy in there. It is called Superline Wholesale. Superline Wholesale. Y'all, they got joggers. Like, cause you know, transfers can go with anything. So if you wanted to make you like a jogger and hoodie set, they got shorts, they got, they got crop tops. <laughs> These people got everything in Superline. So, superlinewholesale.com. Oh, y'all got a Superline in New Orleans? Oh, I did not even know about Superline, y'all. But when I went up in there, I said, this is going to be my go-to. I like a beaver, too. But Superline is going to be my go-to, okay? Now, let's talk about part numbers. Now that y'all know where to go get your shirts from, your apparel, let's... We need to know when we go online what part number to look for so we can make sure we're getting the correct shirts, um, hoodies, and stuff, okay? So the first part number for shirts is going to be G640, and G stands for gilding. So that's all that means. So G640, I love G640 shirts because they soft style. These are G640s. These are G640s right here. Yeah, these are Jesus for you. But they are very soft to the skin. I love these. And they are very affordable and good quality, okay? Uh, another other, another brand of shirts is G500. I call them little crispies because, like I said earlier on my live, they are a look. <laughs> Not y'all talking about little crispy. Look at Kiara talking about little crispy. Yes, I call them little crispy, y'all, because the shirts, they very cheap. So if you're working on a budget, they cheap, but they hard. They real hard. Um, so I don't really like them, but say for instance, if I'm running some type of sale or my customer ain't trying to spend what I want her to spend, I'm going to get her one of them cheap shirts, which is a little crispies, okay? G500s. Um, somebody else told me earlier that they, they use G800. Y'all ever heard of that? I ain't used the Gilded 800, but she said they are a good brand. So I decided to put that in there. But y'all can also look up G800. Um, that's another Gilded brand, okay? And then another one is Bella Canvas. Good job, y'all. Bella Canvas. Um, that part number is 3001. Bella Canvas is 3001. And then American Apparel. T-shirts is AL1301. Good job, y'all. AL1301. Good job. All right, so that's the shirts. The sweaters. Sweaters are going to be G180. Now, if y'all are new on my live, and, and we remember I sent out an email about these giveaways, you have to take these notes so you can answer the question at the end. So if I ask you a question and say, which shirt do I call Lil Crispy? If you don't know the answer because you ain't writing down these notes, then how you going to win the giveaway, okay? So y'all make sure that y'all are paying attention. So what I left off at, sweaters, sweaters. Sweaters are going to be G180. And then another brand sweaters is going to be G920. Good job, Didi. So G180, G920. And then last but not least, hoodies is going to be G185 and G186, okay? I'm going to say it again. Hoodies, Gildan 185, Gildan 186. So those numbers, basically, when you go online shopping for shirts, hoodies, or sweaters, all you're going to do is type in that part number. It's going to pull up, and you can go ahead and check out, put it in your cart, and order, okay? 
Now, if y'all are ready, say you ready, I'm going to move on to the next phase. But I just wanted to make sure y'all know where to get y'all apparel from, what part numbers to look for, and all that good stuff, okay? Good job. All right, so like I said, you need four things when it comes to pressing DTL transfers. You need the transfers. You need the apparel. The third thing you are going to need is a heat source. You're going to need a heat source. Now, you can use a heat press. Uh, if you're going to use a heat press, I like Fancier Studio. I talked about that earlier. Fancierstudio.com. Fancierstudio.com. So if I say, what's a good brand heat press? Fancier Studio. They very affordable for my newbies. And I've been having my Fancier Studio forever. So Fancier Studio, Okay. And then, say for instance, you don't have enough room for a heat press, you can also use a Cricut hand press. A Cricut hand press. You can use a Cricut hand press, okay? Either or is going to cost you under $200. Under $200. So the third thing, like I said, you need your source heat. Um, Don't use an iron. Well, you probably can, but I, I tried it. I couldn't use it. So if you use an iron, it don't work. It don't work okay number four you are going to need butcher paper or what what did i tell y'all earlier today good job daydreaming y'all be baby y'all finna get these little giveaway who who so you're gonna need either butcher paper or a teflon sheet now why did i say earlier why I don't like using Teflon sheets and rather use butcher paper. What is it about the Teflon that made me be like, oh, I don't want to use this. I don't, don't want to use this. I don't want to use this. It's too thick. Good job, TT. It's too thick. So when I'm using the, the Teflon sheet and I'm pressing it, I have to press my DTL transfer on my shirt about two times because the heat is not going through this thick sheet and it's not pressing my transfer on the first try. So I like to use the butcher paper. See how thin it is? So as soon as I press it, one try, and my transfer is stuck like short. Stuck like short. Okay? So that's the fourth thing you need. That's it, y'all. Heat press, transfers, apparel, and then something to put on top of it. Now, I'm going to tell y'all the other little stuff that I use that's not required, but I use it. Um, I'm going to tell y'all later where I got it from. So I use this T-shirt measurer. So I basically put that on my shirt right up under it. It's very easy. I'll show y'all in a minute. Uh, but if you don't have one of these, use your three fingers from the collar. If you have on a shirt, um, a collar shirt, you just put your three fingers and you'll put the image right up on that third finger and boom, you're ready to go, okay? And then the next thing I use is a fabric ruler. It's not required, but I use these if I'm pressing a... 2S or 3S shirt, and I want to make sure it's measured um, in the middle correctly and on the sides. Fabric ruler. The next thing I use is heat glove. I told y'all earlier, if you are a seasoned crafter, what about seasoned crafters? We don't use these, but I'm not going to tell y'all to, to do that. If you are new, you got to use this, okay? If you don't, your hands going to look like this, and it's war wounds everywhere, okay? So, Heat gloves, heat gloves, heat gloves. And then the last thing, good job, Chinky. I use a cooling block. Now, this is only for if you rushing and you trying to get these orders out ASAP. And because y'all know when you press transfer, it's a cold pill. You got to let it sit and let it cool down. But if you want it to cool down faster, you'll just take the cooling block and the transfer will be pressed on the shirt. You'll just go over the transfer a couple of times and then you can peel it, okay? Boom. So those are the extra necessities I use. Now let's go to the next one. Now when it comes to pressing, she said I be burning my hands, girl. Me too, me too. When it comes to pressing the transfers, what is the time and temp? If you was on my live earlier, you should know this answer. What was the time and temp 
whenever you are pressing DTL transfers. Good job, Danette, Kiara, Daydreaming, Daniels, Kanisha. I see y'all, 320 degrees, 15 seconds. Now, if you're using your heat press and you press the sublimation shirts, you know that it's 400 degrees, 60 seconds. But whenever you switch it and put your shirt on there with your DTL transfers, it has to be 320 degrees, 15 seconds max. Don't leave it on there longer. Get it up, okay? Now, let's talk about why. Why should I be pressing DTL transfers? Like, what's going on? What's up with this DTL? The first reason why is it, it is no special skills required. Put that in the comments. No special skills are required. And that means anybody can make them. You don't have to have a degree. You don't have to have any design skills. You don't even have, you don't have to have any equipment like that. Um, but stuff the heat press, but it takes no special skills. Your kids can do this. Your husband can do this. Your baby daddy can do this. Your mama can do this. If you want a uh uh um a business where anybody can do it, I'm going to say DTL transfers. Anybody can press this, okay? So number one is, <laughs> number one is no special skills. Number two, it is very affordable. Good job. Man, y'all ain't playing with me today. It's very affordable, okay? So when I say affordable to start this business, you're not going to pay over $200. The heat press and the hand press going to run you about I'm going to say a little bit on the 179 And then a transfer is going to be $4.95 if y'all use that code. And then the shirts cost about $2. That's it. You don't really need anything over $200 to start this business. Unless you want to buy more in book, okay? So it's very affordable. The third thing is it's less time consuming. Good job, Kizzy. Less time consuming. When I say less time consuming... That means you don't have to weed any vinyl. What my cricket lovers? I ain't gonna look, I ain't gonna talk no junk tonight. It's too late for that. <laughs> but who uses cricket? Who uses silhouette? If you use any of those, you know that whenever you are weeding vinyl or you making a shirt with vinyl, it's gonna take a lot longer. If you have to make a shirt and it has three colors, it got red, brown, gold, white, that's gonna be four pieces of vinyl you have to use, cut, weed layer on top of layer you don't have to do that with dtls because it's less time consuming because you don't have to use no you don't have to do no weed and no bite them okay um the third thing is it's more versatile put that in the comments it is more versatile now when i say <laughs> look at all my cricket lovers look don't get in my inbox y'all i ain't saying it's nothing wrong with cricket i'm just trying to tell y'all why I don't layer and weave vinyl anymore because of DTL. So I still love my Cricut and Silhouette, but when it comes to making shirts, I'm not weeding anything, okay? So number three is versatile. When I say versatile, oh yeah, so the code, y'all, the code is V-Day 2-4. Valentine's Day 2-4. So the letter B, D-A-Y 2-4. And you're going to go to transfersgalore.com. I'm going to tell you about that later, okay? So... When I say it's versatile, it's because it can be used on multiple fabrics, multiple colors. If any of y'all do sublimation, she said that's number four. No. Is it? It is number four. <laughs> so number one is no special skills. Two is affordable. Three is less time consuming. Four is versatile. Versatile. Because you can put it on multiple fabrics. So if you do sublimation, you can only print on what what fabric give me the answer i told y'all this earlier if you are sublimating what fabric can you only press on good job polyester so if it's not polyester the image is not going to transfer but with dtls it's versatile because you can press on polyester cotton nylon leather anything you can think of jeans you got a jean jacket you can press transfers on it. So it goes on any fabric, basically, in, in any color. You don't have to just press on white like sublimation. You can press on red, green, blue, pink, yellow. It's going to work, okay? And then number five, 
is it's more productive. Good job. I, so y'all got y'all notepads. Y'all got y'all notes from this morning. Number five is it's more productive. When I say productive, meaning you can push out more shirts in less time than you would if you was weeding by them. So if you got you a hot order for a 50 piece shirt and they gave you the design, you get it printed, if you get 50 transfers, you can press them shirts in about two hours, knock out 50 orders in a day with transfers. So I love that because it's more productive and you can push out in bulk, okay? Now let's go to promotion. This is where we left off this morning. So this is good. We're moving along really good. So when it comes to promotion, you want to promote on social media. I was telling them this morning that a lot of folks feel like, well, I can't promote on social media because I have to work. I got all this other stuff going on. But I told them, if you can go to your nine to five, you want to give your side business that same energy. So if any of y'all have a side business, which y'all do, because y'all craft, if you can go to work and give them eight hours, you can give your business at least an hour out of the day and post your work on social media, okay? You can also sell to your coworkers, okay? So if you're going to work, you want to be your walking billboard. So you wearing Valentine's Day shirts to work. Somebody going to ask about it. You can let people know, hey, I make the shirts, okay? The next thing, um, you can let your kids be your walking billboard. So you can make them shirts, have them go to school. And if anybody asks, you know, get that information, all that good stuff. Um, okay, so that's where to promote. Now let's talk about how to promote. How? We talked about where, social media, billboard, co-workers. Now, let's talk about how. How, how, how. How, how, how. How, how, how. How, how, how. Y'all, this thing is stubborn. I got to fight with this every time. Okay. Okay. So, the first way you can promote is by using mock-ups. Do everybody know what mock-ups are? What my mother control? A mock-up is basically where you take a um a design, you put it on a shirt, basically a mock-up shirt, and then you post it to let people know that this is what I have for sale, and you don't have to literally waste um any supplies or material. So I was telling them earlier that y'all can use the mock-ups on my website. Here we go. Hold on. Y'all can use the mock-ups that's on my website. I have Valentine's Day, Mardi Gras, Black History. We added more designs too. But y'all can literally put y'all down here. Y'all can use the mock-ups that's on the website. So if you look at the Valentine's Day transfers, these are all the mock-ups. So you got you know, different designs. So if y'all go on the website, just tap and save. And then y'all can post this on your social media and basically say, hey, you know, I got Valentine's Day shirts for sale. And you didn't waste no material or supplies. All you did was tap and save off my website and you was able to still promote your business, okay? You're welcome. So that's the first way that you can promote is by using mock-ups and not wasting material. The next thing is dressing it up with accessories. Now, somebody asked me earlier. Uh, <laughs> hello. Somebody asked me earlier, how do we dress it up with accessories? So, tell me what y'all want to do. But well, I've created some designs it look like this where you can dress it up with accessories and all you gotta do is edit the picture so i'm gonna give y'all my designs y'all gonna edit it and add your own picture so let me show y'all what it'll look like let me just give y'all a, a, a clue so i put some heels with it a purse it's still a mock-up but you accessorizing it so they can see what it look like let me just show y'all so it's something like this it ain't this, but I, I, I got it for y'all, okay? So, it got the heels, it got the purse, the jeans, and then the shirt. And then all you got to do is add a design to it and promote it. Would y'all want that? 
Would y'all want that? If y'all want it, I'm gonna drop it like it's hot. But if y'all don't want it, don't don't worry about it. But would y'all want it? What's up, Candy? Okay, y'all said yeah. Y'all wake up. I'm sleeping too. I'm sleeping too. I know it's late. I'm tired too. But let's let's get this lesson in. Okay, so I'm gonna let y'all know when I drop that. I'm gonna let y'all know when I drop that. Okay, let's go on to the next one. So when I say accessorize it, you want to put the shirt with some jeans, some earrings, some 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 high heels, a purse, and let them see how it'll look when they juice it up, when they dress it up, okay? The next thing, you can pair it with other craft items. So, <laughs> so if you pair it with other craft items, what is something that you can pair a Valentine's Day shirt with? Give it to me in the comments. Somebody said a puzzle, socks, tumblers, notebooks, journals, coffee mugs, a blanket. Yes. So if you do any other craft for all my cricket lovers, silhouette lovers, sublimation lovers, you can you can dress this shirt up, add it with another craft item, and then that'll make it more appealing for me to buy, okay? And then the next thing you can do is show, it, show how it can be used as a gift. So maybe you putting it in a gift box and you showing your customers that if they don't want to buy the shirt, they can buy it for somebody else that they love, that they like, and gift it to them. Oh, a sweet treat box. I didn't think about that. So you say like with some strawberries, some wine. Oh, I didn't think about that. And a custom V-Day shirt. I like that. I like that. Some candles. Yes, yeah, so y'all can y'all can act like it's a gift. So gift giving basically to show them that this is what it can be used for. And then the next thing is basically uh I was telling them earlier when you posting this stuff on your social media, make sure you are writing in your captions why they should buy from you. So whatever your USP is, y'all know what a USP is. I ain't gonna get into it today. Um, I, that'll be another lie, but a USP is basically what makes you stand out from other crafters. So what makes you different? Why should I buy from you? So if you know what makes you different, drop it in the comments. If I wanted to pull up on you right now and buy a B-Day shirt, why should I shop with you versus Candy? Candy on here selling shirts too. Miss Audrey selling shirt. Why, why should I buy from you? Why? What, what is your USP? What make you different? Everybody made t-shirts. That's what they say. Everybody made tumblers. Why should I buy from you? Miss Kiara said I got the best turnaround time on period. Okay. Kiara said good quality. Uh, Kimberly said turnaround time. I like that. Taisha said customer service. Oh, Kiki said I'm more creative. Oh, y'all better stop playing with Kiki. Oh, oh, uh, wait, wait. Miss Anishka said I can design better. Oh. We're going to talk about that another day. But if you know how to design, that's even better. So y'all know what your USP is. So just make sure when y'all promoting, put that in the comments. You ain't going to find another designer like me. You ain't going to find nobody with faster turnaround time than me. You ain't going to find nobody with better customer service. Pop your ish in your comments when you write your captions on your social media. Pop your ish, okay? Now let's talk about pricing. This is very important. This is very important because I don't want y'all to get these prices confused. But this is very important. So when it comes to pricing, um, when it comes to pricing, boom. This is what y'all gonna need right here. But I'm gonna tell you about this later. This is a pricing calculator. To where if you get this pricing calculator, you don't never have to ask, how much should I charge? This pricing calculator gonna tell you everything you need to know. Cause it's gonna ask you how much you pay for that DTL transfer. $4.95 because I use the code. Then it's gonna ask you how much you pay for that apparel that you got from Jacob Shirts. $3. Then it's gonna ask you, what else did you use? Butcher paper, all that good stuff, packing supplies. Then it's going to say, in order to, to make a 50% profit margin, this is what you got to charge. You cannot charge less than that because you're not going to make profit. So this calculator, when I, if you get this, I'm telling you, one time, you ain't got to ask nobody else, how much should I be charging? But let me tell you how much you should charge for shirts with DTL prints. 25 and up. 
And 25 is for a small shirt. That ain't even, we not even talk about the other sizes, but nothing less than $25, okay? You got to think about how much you paid for the shirt, how much you paid for the transfer, how much time did it take you to press the shirt? I don't care if it did take 15 seconds. That was 15 seconds of your time, and you got to pay yourself, okay? Um, What else you got to take into consideration? We're going to talk about this in a minute, packing. When you're packing, you got to use a polymeller. You got to use a god darn thank you card. You got to all, all this. You got to take all this into consideration when you are pricing these shirts. And it got to start at twenty five dollars minimum. If they want anything less than that, tell them you can get them a two T, a baby shirt. <laughs> That's the best I can do. That's the best I can do. But I can't give you no adult shirt for anything less than twenty five dollars with my DTLs. So y'all got to stand on business in 2024. Put that in the comments. I'm standing on business in 2024. Don't let these folks talk y'all down out of these shirts. These are custom made. Then you're going to be mad because you ain't making no money. You tired. You up on this heat press. You done burnt yourself for $15. Where you get $15 from? How did you, how did you, talk to me right quick. How did you pick $15 for a t-shirt? Like, where did you... Did you just want to make a sale right quick? What was it? What was it? Did you just want to get your name out there right quick? How y'all charge $15 for a t-shirt? <laughs> right. Stand on business. $25. I sit on inventory all day till I get my $25, okay? But I don't want to see no $15 shirt with my DTO transfers on it. Because I'm going to call you out. I'm going to call you out. All right. Now, let's talk about This is very important. This is very important. Let's talk about when to promote. We got to talk about when. When do I need to promote? Now, I might as well just keep this over here. So, boom. This right here is what I call my holiday selling guide. This right here, if you get this, and I'm going to talk about this later, it's going to basically tell you when to promote what so right now we are in the month of january you should not be promoting um martin luther king i mean it's martin luther king is literally about a week or two we done if you didn't promote martin luther king in december by the time they order martin luther king shirts martin luther king gonna be gone like it's gonna be over with so right now what you need to be promoting let me tell y'all in my holiday calendar and I'm going to tell y'all how y'all can get this calendar in a minute. But let me tell you, in the month of January, this is what you should be promoting. Okay, let's go over this. Boom. Valentine's. Okay. So we got our Valentine's transfers. You should be promoting Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras. So we got Mardi Gras transfers. You should be promoting Super Bowl. We don't know who's going to Super Bowl yet, though. So I'm, I'm slit waiting on it. But Super Bowl should also be promoted in January, okay? And then when you get to March, so basically you want to promote this month or what goes on next month. So promote it a month before. But when we get to February, we're going to be promoting March stuff. So in February, we're going to be promoting Women's History Month. We got a lot of women designs. We're going to be celebrating us, baby. It's, it's our time. Women's History Month. We're going to be celebrating St. Patrick's Day. Then what y'all going to want to... Y'all want to get transfers in February for March. St. Patrick's Day. You're going to want to celebrate... Um, Okay, that's it for March. And then when you get in March, you want to start posting about autism awareness we got a lot of them designs already on there so if, if i was y'all to be honest i would go ahead and just get everything especially since y'all got a discount code go ahead and grab what you need now don't really wait to the month of okay so in march if you want to promote for april in march you need to promote autism awareness easter dang all now they got a national pet day but i don't really See too many folks asking for pet transfers. I mean, we'll get them if y'all want them, but not too many people um, ask for that, okay? And then here's the last one. In April, 
When you get in April, you need to be promoting Teacher Appreciation, Cinco de Mayo, Mother's Day, Memorial Day. God darn. <laughs> Y'all gonna be busy in April, baby. Y'all gonna be big busy in April. In April. Oh, yeah. Graduation. Oh, no. Graduation. Y'all need to start pushing that in February. I ain't gonna lie to you. So don't to start ordering real early, okay? And, oh, wait. I got to add something to this. I got to add something to this. Let me put this down. In March, for all my goddamn paradise people, what y'all going to promote? 420? <laughs> well, I transfers play off the shelf with them 420 transfers. So, in March, you want to be promoting 420 transfers for April. Y'all, it's a lot. It's a lot. I ain't even know about this. Okay, so I'm going to add this to the calendar, and then I'm going to upload it again. But, yeah, y'all get ready, get ready. All right. So, like I said, that's when you post to promote. So, you got to have the calendar to know when to get ready for what, all right? Now, let's talk about packaging, okay? So, whenever you are packaging and you, you press this transfer, you don't press the shirt, I mean the sweater. Let me see if I can put y'all up somewhere. Okay, let's talk about packaging. Ooh, that crap. Big nasty, baby. All right. Here we go. So let's talk about packaging. So say for instance, can y'all see me? Can y'all see your girl? All right, so let's talk about packaging. So when it comes to packaging, so say for instance, you got your sweater you just bought. I mean, you got your sweater you just made for your customer and you about to get ready to ship this bad baby out. So this is the way I fold mine. I take it by the collar. I wish I knew that folded song. I fold it straight to the back like this. I try to make sure it's even though. So I lay it flat on his stomach. I take it by the collar and I fold it right at the edge of the shirt. Okay. Boom. That's how I do that thing. And then I'm going to flip this bad baby over like this. Flip it on his back. And then I'm going to bring this side in. See, this is where the, the um the sleeve at. I'm gonna bring it into the middle like this. Okay. I want to leave it right where the design is. So I slick fold it into the design, wherever the design at. That's why I stop it. Okay. So that's that one side. And then I'm gonna come on over here to the other side. I just kind of fold that in. And then I'm gonna bring that over. Until it get to the design. There it goes. So, boom. So, that's how I do that there. And then I'm going to fold it again. I just try to make sure I don't bend the um the, the transfer with a design it, okay? So, that's how I fold it. But let's talk about packaging. When I package my transfers, I use a cellophane bag, Okay? This is a clear cellophane bag. Y'all can get this from my Amazon storefronts. Um, when I'm done with this live, I'll tell y'all all about that. Okay, let me... I don't want to get long-winded. Okay. So I'll take this cellophane bag. And I love cellophane. A lot of folks use like the clear polymillers. I like the cellophane bag because as y'all can see, it got that glossy look to it so it just make it look real nice and crispy and i don't know it's, it just make it look professional so i just love this glossy cellophane versus the regular poly bag and then i'm gonna slide it in there 
So y'all count down. We already used what? What's the first thing we use while packing? What is the first thing we use while packing? This is why y'all can't charge $15. You can't charge $15. We already using packing supplies. How much? Uh, what we got? Okay. So this is the first thing we're using. Number one is a cellophane bag. So I'm just going to squeeze that in there really nice. Let me turn this other light. Ooh, I don't want to fall. Don't let me fall. Okay, there we go. Ooh. Got to clutch that roll, baby. All right, so number one, when packaging, we are using a cellophane bag. Okay, there we go. Boom. All right. I ain't gonna close this bad baby up yet because we got some more stuff to use. And then we are going to use care instructions. We are gonna use care instructions. All of these come on my Amazon storefront too, okay? Um, so I'm gonna just take a card out. This is a shirt care inscription, and I'm going to add it inside of here. So this is the care inscription, number two, okay? Um, now, the other stuff I don't have, but I'm going to still tell y'all. Oh, hold on, hold on. So I do have some thank you stickers. Now, some people... If they don't have like an extra gift to put inside of their packages, because some people might get them like an extra gift, you can just get them some stickers. Customers love stickers. So you can put some stickers in there, a thank you sticker in there, something extra. Hold on. Y'all know I'm extra. I got to put my stuff in a clear bag. Because what if it been? Everything I'm using is in my storefront. So, I'm going to get a little bag and put all this stuff in because I just don't want it to bend up. And by the time it gets to the customer, it don't look right, okay? So, let me get this back out. So, when it comes to these stickers, y'all can use like a regular thank you sticker. Or, if y'all use the vendor I gave you, you can use your own branded stickers. Ooh, customers will love that, okay? So I'm going to put that in there. What are other things that you can put inside your package? I'm going to say business cards. Okay. I'm going to say a discount card. I'm going to say um, a thank you card. Maybe you want to do like a written thank you note. Like it's so many things that you can put inside of your packages, but customers love when y'all take the time out to do this okay so i'm gonna close that up but just remember that definitely some business cards i thought i had some hold on i ain't got none but yeah definitely some um yes a personalized note yes so y'all know what's up okay boom so it's everything is good now i'm gonna put that in there all right and then, like I said, you can put a thank you note, whatever, whatever. I'm going to close it up. Okay. And then I'm going to use a poly mailer. Poly mailer, poly mailer, poly mailer. Now, depending on how big the shirt is, you can use the custom poly mailers. But this is gonna be this gonna be too small for that, okay? So I'm gonna have to use one of my big boy bags. I gotta use my big boys. So I'm gonna bring out my big boys. And then you just gonna put it in there. So y'all see how this so neat? I mean, come on. Let me tell y'all something. Real talk. Your packaging can make a customer spend more money with you. When a customer open their package and they get that experience, like some people live for the packaging, but when they open up your package and it's just like you took your time, you don't put it in a 
cellophane bag. You got me some care instructions. Thank you, Carl. Like, you really took your time with my packaging. I'm stuck for life. So, if you want to talk about USPs, upgrade your packaging. Upgrade your packaging and watch your customers come back. Everybody ain't doing that. Everybody ain't doing that. They shipping out stuff in grocery store bags. You know, you got to start where you can start, but <laughs> I'm just telling you. If you want a customer to come back, give them an experience as soon as they touch your package. And when I say touch your package, boom, look. Even the front of your package it need to be cute. Even the front. Girl, yeah, grocery store bag. That was me, girl. I'm talking about myself. <laughs> I used to ship out in grocery store, yes, but that's where I was at at the, at the time of my life. But your girl done upgraded. But look, y'all, boom. Check it out. You can also put the custom stickers on the front of the bag. Oh, Lord, how you do this? Okay, here we go. What else can you put on the front of your package? Somebody give me an idea. A QR code. You can also put on the front of your package a business card and tape it down. So whenever it gets to the postal service and they're handling your package, they can say, oh, what does she do? Oh, wow. And they can look you up and be like, okay, she got a custom website. Y'all get what I'm trying to say, but yo. Come on, nail on. But you can put that on the front. Um, Your QR code so they can scan. Whatever you can do, but presentation matters. Presentation matters. All right. Now, the next thing you are going to need when it comes to packaging is the packaging supplies okay so you are going to need oh this one i got nasty where did i just put my what's the name again? hold on y'all everything is in my amazon storefront you're gonna need a scale so this is the at home scale i know y'all saying well that's really small this thing can weigh up to 86 pounds. So I can fit on here and it's going to weigh accurately. I don't weigh 86, but I'm just telling you like this, how big, this little bitty thing can weigh up to 86 pounds worth of packages. Okay. So you're going to need an at-home scale. You are going to need, um... You are going to need copy paper. Now, if you don't go buy no. I got a shopping problem, so I just be buying stuff that I don't use. <laughs> but if you don't go like out and invest in a, you know, a thermal uh, label printer, then you can still print your labels with copy paper. Copy paper. Um, and these packing slips, okay? And you're going to need a regular printer that prints regular ink. And when you print out your label, you're going to print it out. When you print it out, you're going to fold it. When you fold it, you're going to stick it inside of the slip. You're going to put it on the front of your package just like this with the information. And then you are going to use one of these um, shipping software services, okay? So you don't have to go to USPS. You don't have to go to UPS. You don't even have to leave your home in order for them to get their packages. So here are the websites I like to use. Y'all put this in the comments. The first one is called Pirate Ship. P-I-R-A-T-E-S-H-I-P.com. Pirate Ship. Pirate Ship. That is a great um, website that you can print labels from home and you don't have to leave. They print all types of labels. So don't leave your house. Set up the software. I mean, it's not software, but create you an account and then print. Another one is called Go Shippo. So G O S H I P P O dot com. Go Shippo. Don't leave the house. Just make you an account and print out your labels. GoShippo.com. The third one is going to be called 
xpsship.com. So xpsship.com. XPS. XPS. Y'all got that one? This is the skill I was looking for. This is my favorite skill. I don't really like the other skill. Okay, so y'all got that one. Um, number four. Another software is called ShipStation. ShipStation.com. S-H-I-P Station. ShipStation.com. And then the last one is called Sendle.com. S-E-N-D-L-E dot com. Dot com. And that is it. Now, this part of the live, I'm going to show y'all how to press and then we done. So I just gave y'all the game on where to buy your supplies from, how to promote, how to ship. Now we're going to show you how to press. Once you learn how to press, I'm going to give y'all till tomorrow. Hey, Ty Danae. I'm going to give y'all till tomorrow to use your discount code and get your transfers for 30% off. If you can, bundle. Buy them in bulk. Buy more than one. Because I told y'all it is February. February is next month. You are going to need Black History transfers. It's coming. And, and, and from my live that I did earlier this morning, my husband already got 100 orders. So if he get too backed up, baby, you got to be in the queue. So I'm telling y'all, go ahead and place your order and get enough Valentine's. That's coming. You got to get some. Get you enough transfers. And don't do no little onesie twosies, especially when you get a discount code, okay? So the first thing we're going to do we are going to get our transfer. I'm going to be using my Gildan 640 shirts. I love these shirts because why? Why do I love Gildan 640? Why do I love me some g 640 y'all? What was my three main reasons? Let me see if y'all paying attention. I gave y'all three reasons why I love it. Good job, because it's soft. Okay, what's the other reason? Okay, what's the other two reasons? Affordable. Good job, Victoria. And what was the last reason? Good job, Kiara. Good quality. Man, y'all stop playing with my people for real. They be paying attention when they want to. <laughs> okay. So let's get into it. Whenever you are pressing DTF transfers on shirts, the first thing you want to do is pre-press the shirt. Because we got to get that moisture out, okay? We got to get that moisture out. So I'm going to pre-press it for a couple of seconds. And then I'm going to come on back to y'all. Y'all see I ain't using no gloves. I told y'all I'm so fast. <laughs> Why am I so fast? All right. So I pre-pressed it for a few seconds. Now the next thing that we're going to do, I'm going to use my ruler right here. I love this little gadget, okay? I'm going to put it right up under the collar. Bring it all the way up. And then I'm going to take my transfer that I'm going to be using. And I'm going to put it right where the design starts at. I'm not going to put it right here at the top. Wherever that design started, at, that's where I'm going to pull it at. Put it at, okay? And I'm going to put it right here with this red line. So it's a red line. I'm going to put my transfer up under there until it touched the... um. The image of my transfer, okay? So, right there. Boom. That's three fingers. So, either way, you can use three fingers from the collar or you can use this. Either way, either way. 
Now I'm going to take my feather rule just to be on the stay side and make sure it's even on both sides. If y'all are following me, stay. I got you, coach. I don't want to lose nobody. Now, when I measure, I measure from the image. I don't measure from the film. I measure from the image. Because after I'm done pressing, this film going to come off. Okay? So, let me just do my thing. Let me do my thing. Five inches. See, I, I do this. It's always going to be five inches whenever you are using 10-inch transfers. Okay? Now, I'm going to put some tape on it only because... I normally press, um, I normally put it up under the heat press and press it, but I'm going to put some tape on it so I can transfer it to the heat press. And this is heat tape, y'all. You don't have to use heat tape because like I said, I normally press it right up under the press. But if you want to use heat tape, you can, just to make sure your image don't move, okay? Now, we're going to take this over to the heat press. Let me see if I can bring y'all over here. And my craft room is nasty, so I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Okay. All right. So we good to go. Boom. Y'all should be able to see. There we go. Yeah, y'all can see. Y'all can see. Can y'all see that? Yeah, y'all can see that. How am I going to ask y'all to answer it for you? <laughs> All right. So I'm going to take my shirt over to the heat press. Now, how many degrees should my heat press be on? And how many seconds am I going to press? How many degrees and how many seconds? Somebody tell me. Somebody tell me. Somebody tell me. 320 for 15 seconds. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Now, what am I missing before I press this down? I'm missing something. I'm missing something. It's something missing before I push this down. What did I tell y'all that I like to use? Before I press. Good job. Some butcher paper. Okay, I see y'all with you, girl. Y'all with you, girl. Now let me find the butcher paper. <laughs> let me. Okay. So I'm going to take some butcher paper. You don't need too much. Just a little bit. Okay. Now what's the last thing I'm missing before I press this down? What did I tell y'all my old season crafters? What we don't like to use, but I need to use it so I can show my new news. What's the last thing I'm missing? Some heat gloves. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Okay. So we read 320 degrees, 15 seconds. Let's get it. Ooh. Let me loosen my pressure up. Okay. Ooh. Hold on. Okay, that pressure is... There we go. Whoo. That pressure was pressuring, baby. All right. So it's counting down. Six seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. You didn't want to act right there, did it? They did not want to act right. All right. So can I go ahead and peel this off right now? Can I go ahead and snatch this off of what I got to do? I'm going to let y'all teach the rest of the class. Should, can I go ahead and snatch this off? Why I can't snatch it off? I'm done. It's 15 seconds. Oh, okay. So it's a cold pill. Okay, thank you. I didn't know that. Okay. Y'all paying attention. Okay. So it's a cold pill. That's correct. 
So what did I say I like to use if I'm being fast and I'm rushing? Because I don't want to wait on it to... I don't want to wait on it to get pulled down manually. So what did I say I like to use? What I like to use? My cooling block. Right. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to dang on roll it over. And you just, you know, just till it cool there. And you kind of feel it to see. See, it's already cool. It's already cool. Ooh. Okay, y'all. Now let's go ahead. Y'all, I like to say this song. It's called the Crackle Crackle Pop Pop. Okay. <laughs> okay. So basically, it's where we all be quiet. And I want y'all to hear when I'm pulling up this film how it sounds. Like I just love this sound, okay? So we call this the crackle crackle pop pop, all right? All right, here we go. Okay, here you go. to it this is super duper dope look at them colors it's on a cotton g640 15 seconds it's the crackle crackle pop pop now the last thing you want to do is press it one last time and then you're done okay so we're gonna give it another 15 seconds with the same butcher paper Cause we ain't gonna waste no paper, okay? Same butcher paper. Done. 15 seconds. We just made our first Valentine's Day shirt. I mean, I'm sold. I'm sold, y'all. I'm sold on the DTS. I still love cricket. But I am sold. On the DTL. Let me bring y'all over here. I am sold on the DTL. So let me show y'all the aftermath. And this ain't going nowhere. You can wash it. You can get nerve, dry it. Like everything. You can pull it. Scratch it. It's not going nowhere. It's not going nowhere. Literally. My feet girls can fit in here. Look. It don't matter. It's going to scratch and go right back to. I absolutely love our transfers, y'all. Okay? So, that's the shirts. I'm going to keep this one. This is really cute. This is really cute. This is really cute. So, I'm going to keep the shirt. But do you not have any questions um, about what we just talked about today? If you do, save them for the, last, save them for the end. Now, <laughs> I just showed y'all how to press the DTL transfers. The last thing, my giveaways. I want to give away. Three DTF kits, okay? Three DTF kits. So let's talk about what goes in these kits. And whoever wins, they get shipped to you guys, okay? So the first thing you're going to get inside this kit. is four DTL transfers. And we're going to make sure they up to date. We're not going to give y'all no Christmas transfer. <laughs> we're going to give you some Mardi Gras, Black History, something that's up to date, okay? So you're going to get four transfers. Y'all put that in the comments. Four transfers. You're going to get four assorted shirts. Okay, so we're going to give y'all the whole kit. Just go ahead and press, baby. You're going to get four shirts. 
you know, different colors. Oh, I didn't know I had gray shirts, okay? So you got your four transfers, your four shirts, and y'all can make money off this box. So don't, don't just get the box and put it to the side. Make your money, okay? You are going to get four clear poly bags. What do I do with the poly bags? Oh. So say for instance, you sell the shirts and you can go ahead and start shipping them. So we're going to give you four bags. So I just showed y'all how to pack it. Okay. Then we're going to give you four poly mailers. Got one. Two. Three. Okay. And then four. All right. Then y'all gonna get four care cards. Okay. One, two, three, four. Then you're gonna get a heat glove. And then you are going to get a Teflon sheet. Even though I don't like them, y'all can still use them. You can still use them, okay? So we're going to give you a Teflon sheet, okay? So let's go ahead and pack this first kit up. And then we're going to get into these giveaways and see who wins the kits, okay? So let me just put this back in there. You got the Teflon sheets. You got the poly bags. You got the clear poly bags. You got the transfers. And then you got your shirts. Okay. And then you got your glove your heat glove can't forget that and then you got your um thank you cards okay so we're gonna give away three of these tonight for everybody that stayed on the live okay nice all right so let's get this over so i can get back in my bed if y'all are ready, say you ready. Now, like I said, even if you don't win today, you are still a winner because we just gave everybody, everybody on this live, you get a 30% off discount code to stock up on DTL transfers. So our transfers are normally $6.09. If you use that code before midnight tomorrow, you only gonna pay four dollars and eighty five cent per transfer. Do you know what you can do with two dollars? What can you do with two dollars? Starbucks, um, Uber Eats, whatever. So use the code V Day Two Four. Put that in the comments. V Day Two Four. Now, for everybody that uses the code, good job on that. But here's another thing. Say, for instance, you like, well, coach, I want to make my own DTL transfers. I mean, I, I like what you got going on, but how can I make them myself? What printer do I need? What ink do I need? What powder do I need? Everything. I have a DTF crash course that is going to come with a DTF ebook. So everything I just talked about today, you're going to get all of that in this crash course. Um... I'm going to get you everywhere. You can go get the printers, the big boy printer, the little boy printers, and you're going to get classes. Guess how much? Somebody put in the comments. $27. One time, lifetime fee. You're going to get the classes. You're going to get the supply list. You're going to get the, the vendors, everything 
for a one-time fee of $27. That's it. Now, if you don't get the course and you just want the ebook, you still gonna pay $27. So you might well get the two for the one ski instead of just trying to get the ebook. When you look at the ebook and read it, you still gonna ask yourself, well, how do I make my own? So you might as well just get the crash course, okay? And the way you can get that. Oh, I gotta clean this clear up room. Okay, we're gonna bring a little hard headed over here. <laughs> the way you can get that, you are going to go to blanksgaloreacademy.com. Let me make sure I can spell blanks galore. Y'all, I got about five websites. So I know y'all be like, well, what about the other website? I sell a lot of stuff. So Blinds Galore Academy. Okay. A-C-A-D-E-M-Y dot com. Boom. So when y'all go here, you are going to scroll up till you see direct to film crash course. I just added it this morning because a lot of y'all was in my inbox saying, Coach, where you get your printers from? Because we got the big boy printers and we got the small boy printers. Where you get everything from? So I said, let me put it in a course versus keep asking all, answering all these questions. I can drop a link. Everything you need is right there. So I just dropped this course this morning and I'm going to finish putting everything in there by Friday. But when Friday get here, this course is going to be $200. So it's $27 now just because I just made it up at, like right now. But by the time I drop everything in here by Friday, it's going to be $200. Done. What would you rather pay? The $200 or the $27? <laughs> so when you go to BlankGaloreAcademy.com, you're going to click on there. Now, I ain't adding no picture or nothing. It literally says it releases January the 5th. So, y'all should trust me by now. I ain't going to get over. If I say I'm going to drop something, it's going to drop by January the 5th. Okay, so go ahead and get your course. When you wake up Friday morning, you're going to have classes in there. You're going to have designs in there. You're going to have another discount code permanently for when you want to order our transfers again. And you're gonna have a DTF ebook. Is that a, look? Is that is that a, is that a what can I say that is? Is that a winner or not? Put that in the comments. Put winner in the comments because I'm about to pull three winners. So either way it goes, if you go sign up for the DTF course, if you use the DTF discount code, y'all still won tonight for being on this live. Now I want to pull three winners. To win this craft kit. And then I'm out y'all here to next Wednesday. All right. All right. So first thing first. The way we're going to do these giveaways. I'm going to ask the question. And the first person I see. That I see. That gets the answer correct. That is who won. Now since I'm on YouTube. I don't think there's no way you can inbox me. So if I say that you win. And I say okay. Um, Tierra Lee Johnson, you the winner. If I say Tierra Lee Johnson, you the winner. After this live is over with, come back on this YouTube, this, this live right here and comment your email address. Cause if you try to email me after the live, I ain't gonna know if it's really you, but if you comment under this post and I know that's your name, I'm like, okay, she the winner. Okay. So again, once you win. When this live is over with, come back and comment your email up under this live right here once it saves, okay? Now, the next thing I want to tell y'all is when you win, what do everybody supposed to say? I know we got a lot of newbies on here, and I don't want y'all to say, well, Coach, I said it first. Um, coach, clean your glasses because you couldn't see the real name. I don't want no problems out of y'all. All we going to say is congratulations to whoever won. Because I told y'all I'm going to be on here with y'all for the next three Wednesdays for the whole month. So you just never know. You never know, okay? All right. First question, if 
Y'all ready? ready. So the first question, we talked about this this morning. I gave y'all a list of shirts, hoodies, and sweaters, okay? Shirts, hoodies, and sweaters. When it comes to... Let me get my phone out so I can take a picture of the winner. When it comes to shirts, what was the last um, shirt that I called out? What was the last part number of the shirt that I called out? Of the shirts? What was the last part number of the shirts? Good job, Miss Roni. Miss Roni 807. It was AL1301. Good job. Congratulations. Miss Roni 807. Let me make sure I got your name right. The last part number was American Apparel AL 1301. I got you right here, Miss Roni 807. Be sure that after this live, you go come up under and give me your email and I'm going to email you back. I'm not going to inbox you. I'm not going to ask for no credit card. So if anybody inbox you or try to scam, it ain't me. All we ask for is your email. When we get your email, my team will get your address. This can be shipping out to you tomorrow. Literally tomorrow. All right. Next question. If y'all ready, say you're ready. If you're ready, say you're ready. I'm going to make this one real good. If you're ready, say you ready. So we talked about why. Why should you be pressing DTL transfers? I gave y'all five reasons why I think that you should be pressing DTL transfers. So when it comes to the why, I said that the second reason why was because it was more affordable because it's going to cost under how much money? I said that starting this DTL business is going to cost less than what? What was the price I gave y'all? Good job, Miss Daydreaming. <laughs> I love when y'all pay attention. Congratulations, Daydreaming. It was $200. Less than $200. Let me make sure I got your name right. Yep, Daydreaming. Congratulations, Miss Daydreaming. All right. We got one more box to give away. And I'm going to see y'all next Wednesday. Okay, y'all ready? Say you're ready. If you're ready, say you're ready. Okay. So when it comes to... When it comes to... Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. So I talked about when you should be promoting these types of transfers. I said, when you should be promoting these types of transfers. So when it comes to, it got a good one right here now. When it comes to promoting in February, besides St. Patrick's Day, what was the next thing to promote in February? Besides St. Patrick's Day. Ooh, Miss Tay Sweet Creation. Women's History Month. Valentine's. No, you promote Valentine's in January. In February, you're supposed to promote Women's History Month and St. Patrick's Day. Congratulations to my three winners. Congratulations to all my winners because everybody got a discount code. Congratulations to everybody who's going to be learning how to make their own transfers. Make sure I got your name. Taste Sweet Creations. So congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. I will see you guys next Wednesday. Um, do not forget, if y'all are new on here, subscribe to my YouTube. Do not leave without subscribing because when I go live again, it won't notify you, okay? I love you guys. Until next time. 
You don't have to be great to start. It's my favorite quote, but y'all got to start to be great, okay? You don't have to be great to start, but at least starts in order to be great. All right, y'all. See y'all next time.